Good morning, this is Jason Dean back at you again, coming at you again. <clears throat> this is another show, another Film Fanatic show coming your way. It is about uh, 11.30 on a Thursday. Yesterday was officially the first day of school. Pretty nuts. September is uh, just about here. So, yeah, pretty nuts. I went on a little mini vacation a few days ago. So I didn't do any videos. And I went up to uh, Greenville, Maine. It was nice. My family had gone up there a couple of times uh, over the last few years. And they rent out this uh, really cool uh, lodge area right by the uh, Moose by Moose Lake. Super beautiful spot. Real mo mountainous. And they got this really awesome lo lodge up there that's in the middle of nowhere. And they go up there every year, at least the last three years. So I, I went up there. I had a you know a bunch of time off, uh, kind of on break, after the summer session was over of where I work. So I went up there for a couple of days and just totally decompressed from everything. So it was pretty nice. I uh, you know went out. We went out for some nice dinners, and we went on a uh, a little ferry ride that goes for about three hours around the lake took in the sights did the tourist thing for a couple of days and it was really nice the weather ended up being really cool it's not too far of a drive it's about two hours a little less than two hours from here but it's kind of a different universe up there it's a beautiful i mean you're really in the country it's really inland so it was really nice to kind of come out of uh or just leave the uh the regular day behind and, and just have a completely different change of scenery. I have not taken a vacation in a very long time, probably too long. So I'm looking to do a big vacation where, you know, it'll be a big, hopefully a big trip uh, this coming year. So we'll see what happens. So that was uh, probably the main reason I haven't done any videos. So I, uh, I, uh, I'm back at it today. So today is a is on a, a movie and also a comic book character who's always been one of my favorites uh, of all time, and that is The Punisher. This movie here, Warzone Punisher, is, I think, the best representation of this character. The origins of The Punisher... He's a character that I've always loved ever since I was a kid. You know, probably the darkest overall, probably the darkest character in the Marvel Universe. And probably the most brutal uh, you know, comic book and character really ever made. Uh, it's, you know, it's just kind of unparalleled. The uh, Frank Castle, who is the Punisher, he was an, an ex-FBI CIA agent. And all of his, uh, his family be basically gets ed executed. So he becomes this crazed, like, vigilante and just goes after, uh, and, and in particular he goes after the organized crime uh, families that he is, uh, he is at war with. And it's... It's known for its, you know, brutal, brutal violence. And also it has, you know, just an incredible amount of uh, texture. And it's all like this, uh, everything is captured in this real heightened reality. And he's a, Frank Castle is this real like tortured kind of soul, if you want to call it that. But you really see his his brutality. There was a movie that came out quite a few years ago. Punisher is a real beloved character. He's he's one of my favorite characters of all time. I think for when it comes to superhero characters, you know, Batman is probably my favorite of all time. I'm a huge Daredevil fan. Batman, of course, is part of the DC universe. Uh, I'm a huge uh, Daredevil fan. Also, he's also one of my favorite characters. 
I've done quite a few shows on on Batman. I did a review on the Robert Patterson movie that came out last year, which I just think is amazing. I also did a review, I believe, on the Daredevil uh, TV series. That is, I think, the definitive version of that character, uh, Matt Murdock. Just amazing. And the other character, <clears throat> comic book character, that I've always loved as a kid is the Punisher. I just think he is... You know, like with Batman and the Daredevil, they obviously have uh, some degree of like a moral compass of where they'll go f ex extremely far in, in their methods uh, to... While protecting themselves and but protecting their 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 cities, you know, with Batman with Gotham City, they do have he does have this like moral compass of where to draw the line, uh, you know, where he where he will not you know cross certain boundaries. The thing that I've always loved about the Punisher is that is that you know with Frank Castle the Punisher. He uh, is kind of a sociopath, and he crosses that line all the time, and he completely takes the law in, in, in his own hands. And he is, to a degree, I feel like he is uh, an anti-hero. He's not really, he doesn't really fit in the typical view of what a hero figure is. He does, to a degree, protect people. He does save people he is he does have characteristics of like the savior um character in mythology but he's really in it to protect himself and his own his own agenda which is trying to eradicate um all of the uh villains that are basically at his doorstep and he's using, you know, his methods to tr somehow, you know, justify the, you know, the unwanted and the merciless killing of his family. <clears throat> and there was a version, you know, and, there, and the Punisher is a very popular character. He's been around for many, many years. And again, it, you know, definitely one of my favorite characters. It's a close, those three characters, Daredevil, Batman, and Punisher are my three favorites. Batman is definitely my favorite, but the Punisher is really close i just love i love that i love how gritty his character is i love how t uh, torn he is emotionally and 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 i love how conflicted he is to a degree but then at the other on the other side of things he is just this brutal brutal uh merciless animal who has no boundaries and there's been lots of you know, renditions, there's been ver quite a few versions of, of the Punisher. The Punisher is actually a very popular character. More recently, there was a television show that I believe the same company, I think it was, I believe it was Netflix and some of the creators even, uh, they did a show based on the Punisher. I've never seen it. I've heard that it's pretty good. I heard that the first or second season were really good. And then after that, I think it was on about for about four seasons and it, and then after the third or fourth or so it wasn't so good but i haven't seen it um i do want to see it eventually i will see it eventually the uh and it was a pretty popular show it's not on the air anymore and then there was a version of the punisher uh, there was a punisher movie that came out with uh, john travolta quite a few years ago that is uh not very good i never really liked that movie i thought it was you know just kind of silly and ridiculous it would be something i'd like to see again but it wasn't until that this movie Warzone punisher came out where i was just like this movie is is just so incredibly badass and i think it's 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 an example of truly a standalone film like this is a movie you can watch and i've talked to people that have seen this but this is a movie you can watch without knowing anything or you know, or even caring of who the the Punisher is. It's it's truly a standalone movie. I mean, it's it's just a balls to the wall action movie, and and it's um it's it's just so well well directed. The cast is phenomenal for this movie. This Blu-ray edition for this uh, movie is just so awesome. I've had this has always been my favorite, like for me, the definitive version of the Punisher, and I. 
I've seen this movie a gazillion times, and I've always, um, I had rented it on DVD a few times, and then I eventually bought it years later on DVD, and then probably about three or four years ago, I found this on Blu-ray, and, you know, again, like I've said many, many times before in the past, the, um, you know, watching this, this is a really great edition of, of this film on Blu-ray. It comes with all kinds of great special features. It really goes into the whole Punisher mythology. Uh, it was directed by Lexi, Ale Lexi Alexander. It came out in 2008. This movie, I didn't really hear very much about it. I don't really remember when this movie came out. Like, I know when the Travolta film came out, there was, you know, uh, a, a lot of press. There was, a, you know, it had a big, wide release. I think it did fairly well in the box office. But when this movie came out, I don't remember really hearing anything about it. It wasn't until it came out on video. Ray Stevenson plays the, the Punisher. He is, uh, Ray Stevenson's one of my favorite actors. He's been in some killer movies. He, um, probably the first time I ever saw Ray Stevenson is in, um, there was an HBO series called Rome, which is actually really, really good. And he was, uh, he played one of the Roman characters in that. And he's been in quite a few other movies since then, but he's a really great, uh, intense actor. He typically plays a lot of, you know, badass villains or badass heroes. Great action star. Uh, Dominic West plays Jigsaw. Jigsaw is one of the, probably the most well-known uh, villains in the Punisher universe. He's a, basically a mafia kingpin who gets grossly disfigured and uh he's just uh just a terrifying character and he's played by dominic west dominic west as well as such an he's an awesome actor he uh the first time i ever came across him uh, as an actor was through the really really great show called uh the wire uh, an hbo original series that came out in the early 2000s i think i believe i have that season uh, I have that series on blu-ray and I'm going to eventually uh, started watching it but then I got distracted watching some other things but I'm eventually gonna watch it all one of the best crime cop show dramas ever made it was you know uh, put out by HBO uh, just amazing but Dominic West was the star one of the stars of that movie and he's just phenomenal Doug Hutchison is also in this he's a uh, He's just such an, another awesome character actor. Julie Bentz, Wayne Knight, and uh, Colin Solomon, Mark Camacho. But the action sequences in this movie are just so uh, intense and so gripping. Super brutal. The fight choreo choreography is just amazing. And again, it's very... Punisher is like kind of set in a really over-the-top kind of heightened reality. You know, it has a little bit of uh, a gritty kind of film noir vibe, but then it also has a very futurist, uh, tech, almost tech noir kind of vibe to it. Beautiful colors, and, and but the gunplay is just phenomenal. Just, uh, just incredible. And, I, you know, so I, and when I said that this movie truly is like a standalone film, you know, you can watch this. If you're just a fan of great, you know, kick-ass action movies. This is is that, and you you know you you can watch this not knowing, or even really caring on on who uh, the Punisher is as a character, you know, as a comic book character, and you don't need to really have to um, know about the origins of the Punisher. They, with this film too, in this story, it was based. Uh, it's based on the comic book War Zone. And it's not an origins story. It's basically he, Punisher is, you know, has been a thing for a while. His character has been out doing all, you know, all of his killings and being this vigilante. And this is basically like a, a story based off of that. It's not, it's unique too, because it's not an origins story. You're just, you're automatically introduced to him as he is at face value, which I think is really great because, and then throughout the movie, you do get these little flashback flashbacks or glimpses of you know what made him into who he is but it's not really it's like deals with the present and it's all about like kind of in a moment of what's happening with his character so it's 
it's a unique movie that way as far as comic book movies because it's not like an origin story. I love great origin stories, but I love that this one just is, you know, once the once the lights are turned on, you're just you're going for it and it's and you're on that journey, but one of the best um comic book movies ever, I think, and definitely the best version of one of my favorite characters, the Punisher. Uh, super badass movie. So this is Jason Dean. I highly, highly recommend this. It's it's uh, it's an action extravaganza, and the blood will spill. Thank you again, and we will see you next time. Peace.